Hi Virgo, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant signs. So whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign Virgo, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you with that said remember they are general readings not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine you should always use your own discernment before we start as always i would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love light peace prosperity and abundance and i pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so for your key to the week this week you've got the world card this is all about communities it's all about the larger you know yes your personal world but also the larger worlds that you are uh, attached to tied to or a part of and in a lot of ways because this is your key to the week it kind of suggests that you understand anything that you're wanting or needing to get done this week you're needing to um, attach yourself to people you're needing to reach out it's like whatever you're doing you can't do it on your own but this also suggests and i don't know why but this message has been really prevalent this week this is a week of shift this is a week of change, right? I get this feeling, this sense that this is, it's kind of like one of those moments, you know, where you go over a hill and then you hit the, like that. It's like a turning point week. And for you, this shift or this change is coming within your communities, within the people that you're tied to. This could be in your local community. It could be within your family. It could be within your work sphere. Um, there's something here like that suggests it, all the signs this week are going through some sort of shift, some sort of change, a gear shift, a, you know, change of momentum, all the rest of it. And yours is taking place all to do with your co um, your communities. But also remember the world card is mastery. This is where you take something to the next level. So one way that this might show up for you, this could be a powerful week of you getting really clear on who your people are, what the connections are that you have, and more importantly, how you can serve that community to the highest degree, and more importantly, how they can give you in return what you need for that service. Um, I love this, right? In a lot of ways, this is you really ascending in a sense, which is very exciting. For your actions and options, you've got the five of swords. So this week, it does look like there's going to be some sort of dispute, some sort of challenge. Now, you've got the five of wands in the actions, the five of swords, sorry, in the actions and options, which this is you having a battle, right? This is you having a challenge. This is you... I wouldn't say instigating a fight, but I would definitely say this is a week where you're likely to be a lot more vocal than you usually are about certain things. Maybe something to do with a community, the community, or the, the, the ties that you have. This also suggests as well that whatever you're putting together is a very well articulated argument. I mean, I've got to be honest with you, Virgo is definitely one of those. <laughs> there are a few signs who with their words could literally ruin people's lives. And Virgo is one of them with that precision, that sort of direct, you know, surgical implementation, like, whew, you know, it can, <laughs> it, can, it, can, it can be mean, right? It can be really mean. So um, if this is in retaliation to something, um, then you know what, listen, a lot of people say to me like, oh, I'm surprised you think that way. And it's like, mm, then you don't really know me or you haven't really been paying attention to who I am. Yes, I will always talk about love and light. Yes, I will always bring um, those things to the fore because I believe there's not enough of them in the world. Make no mistake, when it gets to it, I'm happy to go toe to toe with people when the need arises. Not so much as when I was a young person because, you know, older and wiser and all the rest of it. And But this is very much you. I kind of feel like this is, it's like you're, you're taking the plaster off your mouth this week, Virgo, and you are going in, right? Like whatever it is that you have to say is going to be heard one way or another. For your communications and conversations, you've got the Four of Pentacles. Uh, this week, you could be interacting with a bank, a financial institution. Um, I will say... If somebody has promised to loan you money or they're now trying to renege on a deal, if somebody's trying to go back on a contract of some sort, you're going to have them. It kind of looks like if somebody tries to back out of something this week, you're going to hold them to it. And, you know, why not? Because as Virgos, when you guys say you're going to do something, you always follow through. Nine times out of ten, right? I can't speak for all of you, but you, you get my point. 
with this, um, it kind of, it, it suggests to me that someone's going to try to back out of something this week and you're holding them accountable. And you know what? Fair play to you. All right. Uh, for those of you that are employed by somebody else, this may be a week where um, the, the expectations of work don't match the salary. And I've got to be honest with you, I mean, with that five of swords here in the actions and options, it kind of suggests to me that you're going to say something anyway. You won't just stand back passive, which is actually a good thing, because if you say nothing this week, you're paving the way for a lot more of this in the long term. So that's something that you want to really keep as a consideration. When it comes to your um, those of you that are business owners or people that work for themselves, this, in a way, I kind of feel like this is you trying to keep to the status quo. It's like you're trying to hold something as it is. And maybe, just maybe, your community or your um, employees, if you have any, you know, if, if you don't, it might be that your clients are getting or trying to get you to hold to a certain way of doing something. Maybe it's a certain price point. Uh, you know, maybe they don't want to pay any more, but they still want the service. You're going to have to weigh something up there, right? If you've got employees, it might be that your employees are saying, okay, I know it's your business. I don't want to tell you how to do your thing, but this isn't a good idea. And maybe just maybe you're not wanting to hear it. So it's something that you need to, to kind of, you know, have a little jig around. Uh, for those of you that are retired and no longer working, again, I don't know why, but there's definitely some sort of interaction with a bank, a financial institution, you know, a larger financial institution seems to be permeating this week for you guys in some way, shape or form. There's a correspondence here as well, like a back and forth of information that it's almost like you're saying, no, no, that's not what was agreed. Um, so very interesting for your love and relations. You've got the Ten of Cups. This is beautiful. So the partnership, the relationship is good. It's happy. You're in good space. Remember, when we ourselves are a little bit testy, Sometimes we end up taking it out on the people that are closest to us. Try not to do that this week. We're all human. You know, it's human to reach for a life raft. And the sad part about energy is it's true what they say, right? It can't be destroyed. It can only be dissipated. So what tends to happen is if somebody cuts you up on the road, you then get pissed off and you end up passing that experience on to somebody else. You can choose to break this. And I would say this is a week where you need to watch out for this. Whatever is happening in the external world, don't let your partner cop the end of it because it's not fair. All right. For your... Um, why I'm giving relationship <laughs> advice is none of my damn business, but you, you know, I just ooh, <laughs> don't shoot the messenger. Um, for those of you that are single, um, this is really nice, and I got to be honest, this kind of combination usually comes up where when you meet somebody, you're like not really at your best. So <laughs> maybe you run into somebody while you're effing and blinding and you know really complaining about something and they still find you attractive and the beauty of those <laughs> oh, I remember just you know quick side note I remember the first date that I had with the last person that I dated for for three years actually I remember the first date that we had and at that point I was very hardened by life and I was really like and apparently they still found me attractive. And I think that's very often what shows not only the mark of somebody else's character, because they can see past how you feel at the moment, but also they see you okay. Like, so, you know, when you get about it, this is how you can be. Um, I kind of feel like if you're meeting someone this week and you're single, you could meet someone and they're like, okay, well, at least you've got some fire in you. So. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta laugh. But for your money and materials, you've got the Ace of Swords. There's definitely something going on with a contract here. There's something that's either been overlooked or something that's now come to light or something that somebody's trying to renege on. And it has something to do with finances. It may be a larger institution. Let's say you went for a mortgage, you got it, it was all you know ready to go through. And then at the last moment they come back and say, oh, we've decided we're not giving you the mortgage anymore. Just as an example, now apply that to your own life and see where it fits. It will go through. I don't have any option, uh, any problems with it going through eventually, 
but there is a minor hiccup here somewhere and I kind of feel like it's going to take you you know ripping the band-aid off and just let him rip in order for this thing to go ahead so for your um have I got this completely wrong I do believe I have I think all of the oh my gosh Mercury have you done this to me oh no oh no oh no oh no um No, I'm sorry, it is in your sixth house. <laughs> I was like, ah, ah. <laughs> so this new moon in Aquarius, for those of you, especially for your ascendant Virgos to a lesser degree, the sun and the moon, this new moon in the sign of Aquarius, I've just thrown all of them all over the floor. Um, this new moon in the sign of Aquarius is in your sixth house. This is all to do with your health, your habits, like how you look after yourself, how you maintain your own physical vehicle. And more importantly, if you've had any challenges or issues with your health up until recently, that new moon is really going to be the, the, the tide, the change of the tide of energy that ushers in a new era of health in some way, shape or form. And this new moon's a pretty powerful one because it's on the Chinese Lunar New Year. So, you you know use this to best advantage to set some good intentions around that it's also the house of drudgery so this is uh, kind of the things that you're slave to the things that you have it's where you expend the energy that you have to use in order to have the things that you want all right or in order to upkeep the things that you have or the things that you want so your sixth house is also your day-to-day -day routines, how you use your energy, how you expend your energy. For those of you that are business owners as well, this is also the house of your employees, right? So this is all stuff for you to really take note of around this new moon on the 1st of uh, February. So your, <laughs> your new moon message is the gate 29 and perseverance, right? So the beauty of that little hummingbird they make it look so easy, right? But when you slow down, like if you've ever seen the thingy and it's slowed down, those wings are literally going for it. And this new moon is really gonna show you where you maybe need to work smarter instead of harder, all right? So you've gotta stick in with it. And in order to stick in with everything that's looking nice to shape up for you, you're gonna have to find a plan to get through that stuff without kind of, overdoing it do you know what i mean like this is it's about streamlining some of your processes i think and i think this new moon is really going to highlight how you can do that with that said sorry about the very long pause i had to really think about it and then i had to check on my phone to look at the chart to see if i'd got the moon placement right in all of the videos prior to this with that said i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic week take care and i'll see you soon